the Landstone Buildings handicap is the next race then. This is a two mile nought to 100 handicap. A massive field for it as well. And the top one is Yassir Chippy, Alex Ince, Repeater McGonagall, James Shea, Tour de France, Paul Rhodes, Going Under, Padraig Hogan, Star Party Raw, James Shea, Melbourne Namibia, David Robertson, Highland Garner, Martin Leadham, Splashing, Craig Beckwith, Winks, Dan Hughes, Rince Wozmi, David Robertson, Eastwell, Rosie, Padraig Hogan, Invisible, Craig Beckwith, Huntress, Martin Leadham, Treasure de Carla, Alex Ince, Yer Noir, Alex Cherry, Windfile Oily for David Hooley, Swallis Taverner for Thomas Rogers, who's also got Pardon Burrow, Red Law for Alex Cherry, Dr. Sodog, Ryan Costello, Smog for Graham Clutterbuck, Chapter Blend for Ryan Costello, and Infinity for Obi Wan right down the bottom. So 23 then. And all installed, and away they go. And the ones drawn wide are not going to be. Uh, Particularly well placed early on, I wouldn't thought, wouldn't have thought, but looking at the uh, front end of the field and as they come up past the big screen, it's Dr. Sodog and Eastwell Rosie that are disputing the lead with Invisible just on their outside as they pass the winning post then with a complete circuit to go then now, then Tour de France is after that one, Treasure de Carla is next then, um, Melbourne Namibia. You can see the ones really caught wide there, Huntress and Peter McGonigal lost a lot of ground, so too as Yen Noir and Red Law. But it's Eastwell Rosie who is the leader. From Dr. Sodom on the outside in second. Then Invisible is third. Gap of probably three lengths then to Treasure de Carla, who's ahead of Tour de France and Melbourne Namibia. Winks is next. Still some quite wide on the track. Highland Gala is quite wide now as well. And Huntress and Repeater McGonigal are right out of the back, but have managed to get themselves onto the fence. They're going to have to have a lot of looking running to get through everybody from there. It's Dr. Sodog and Eastwell Rosie that continue to dispute the lead with Invisible back in third. And Treasure de Carla is fourth with Melrin and Mibia and Smog next, then Splashing and Tour de France. Rince Wasme, Winks and Yassir Chippy and Chapter Blend. Then going under an Island Gala with Star Party Roar and Windfoil Oily and then Infinity. Red Lauren Swivis Taverner after that. And then Pardon Burrow and Yer Noir, and finally Huntress and Repeater McGonagall. They're coming down towards the midway point now, then, and Dr. Sarok and Eastwell Rosie are still disputing the lead, and they're still three lengths to the good over Invisible, who's in third. Then comes Trisha de Carla, fourth, and Melbourne Namibia is in fifth. One or two of these are still quite wide on the track, um, about six wide, some of them, including that David Robertson horse that's going to come through to move into fourth. Rince was me. Sure, it'll try and cut over shortly, but just how much energy is it used up being wide for the first mile and a bit? Well, it's Eastwell Rosie who's now kicked on in the lead by about two lengths to Dr. Sonog, who's left in second. Rince Wasme has now got over to the near side in third. Then Treasure de Carla and Invisible. And Melbourne and Mibia is also coming through to make a bit of a challenge now. So David Robertson's pair are both up there challenging. There's a definite group, two groups. <coughs> the group in the lead, Eastwell Rosie from Melbourne and Namibia, then comes Rince Wozmi, and then Winks, and then Chapter Blend and Treasure de Carla. Dr. Sodog is trying to battle on again. Then Yassir, Chippy, and Smug trying to get into it as well. But it's still Eastwell Rosie that's got the lead, and as they come down on the final three furlongs, Eastwell Rosie's in the lead from Rince Wozmi and Melbourne and Namibia. Then splashing Winks and Yassir, Chippy, Treasure de Carla trying to get going as well. But it's still Eastwell Rosie who's clear by two. Splashing up the centre of the track, he's trying to get into it. Also, Winks is there, Invisible's there, Yassir Chippy coming wide as well. But it's still Eastwell Rosie then, down to the final four and a half. And Eastwell Rosie's still in front from Splashing in second. Winks is in third. Then Rince Wasm Wasm is trying to run again. Yassir Chippy up the centre of the track. It's Splashing who's now gone on. Splashing immediately caught by Winks and inside the final four and it's Winks in the lead. But now the field begins to bunch and look at this one coming through. It's going under. Let's burst through and so on a far side. Trigger to Carla and it's going under. Let's going to get there, I think, and take it going under. Just on the invisible and treasure the Carla windfall only run on to be fourth. And a bit of a messy race. And quite a few that just never got into it at all. And going under, looks like it's taken it. And that's a win for Padraig Hogan. I think that might be his first winner since coming back. It's invisible second for Craig Beckwith, Treasure de Carla for Alex Ince was third, Windfall Ollie for David Hooley was fourth, and Smug for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.